In my last Yomi Hustle video, I covered Nanami from JJK. After that video went live, I got contacted by the owner of the Yomi Sorcery Group, the ones behind Sukuna, and more characters which I'll cover here in this video. Also, I've seen a lot of unreleased movesets and sneak peeks, and these guys are bringing their A game. The main focus of this video character-wise will be Sukuna, as he has a decent amount of work done on him, and he is also available for the public to use in the workshop. However, included with my Sukuna review, I'll be talking about upcoming characters, movesets, and showing off whatever I'm allowed to. I have limits, okay? But before we talk about all the sneak peeks and stuff, let's go ahead and cover Sukuna, who again is available to download right now in the Steam Workshop for Yomi Hustle. Firstly, Sukuna is not a completely finished character. He is, however, playable to a fair degree. He has a variety of basic close-range melee attacks, but also has those insanely large and high damage dealing attacks you'd expect. When close enough, he can try for a dismantle, which will deal damage and is good for a combo startup. Leave is also available, which deals a lot of damage with ton and friend slicing attacks. There is, funny enough, the fire extinguisher available to throw, which acts as another ranged option. Sukuna also has the ability to use the fire arrow, which is a pretty strong attack that, again, provides another ranged option. You may also notice the black flash meter above. This charges up during each fight and unlocks moves as it grows. For example, Devourer, which is an attack that ends up slamming your opponent into the ground. Another one is obviously using the black flash itself. All of these abilities combined make for a close ranged demon. While you do have those ranged options, Sukuna obviously performs better when the gap is much smaller. Now you're definitely asking, where's his really cool moves at? Don't worry, let's talk about his supers now. Sukuna, as of now, has two supers, one being the massive World Cut, which does insanely high damage. When I say high, I mean really high. This move can nearly deplete a quarter of the enemy's health pool. And finally, yes, he does have it. Domain Expansion. You need 9 levels of meter for this move. When this move hits, it's game over. Sukuna wins. The only time I was actually able to see if you could survive this move is when I went into single player, put the damage on point one, and it took almost a full minute until the damage was done. But yeah, the only way you can survive this is to block the move, which makes this weird effect where Sukuna just stands there for a bit. So, don't let this move happen, but hey, if you're playing Sukuna, do let this move happen. Instant win as long as it gets used. But yeah, this is Sukuna as of the time of this upload. Super fun, and the best part is knowing that there's still going to be future updates to make him all the better. This mod is super fun, super well made, and super strong. What else would you expect from the King of the Curses? Now, let's dive into the upcoming work in progress releases. Let's start with Choso, the blood manipulator himself. This character very recently got an early access build, so I was able to get some actual footage to show off. Lucky for us, this early test build is extremely well made and extremely fun. In order to make sure Choso isn't able to spam all kinds of blood manipulation attacks, and to make the cool moves very rewarding, there is a blood meter system. This is a simple bar that depletes when using a move that requires blood. That would be most of Choso's range kit, and some of his basic attacks that have a blood toggle which enhance the attack damage. This blood meter regenerates over time, but using Exsanguinate allows Choso to regain a portion of his blood meter at the cost of sacrificing some of his own health pool. Choso has great melee options but excels at ranged and setups. Launching a blood orb and then playing around the thrown orbs makes Choso dominate the field with lots of pressure. Blood Whip is a very satisfying move that has decent r range and damage. It functions similar to the robot's chainsaw as you can input a starting and ending position. Of course, Choso also has piercing blood. Getting this move to be activated is a bit risky as there is a long charge up and you can also input exactly when you want to release. Timing piercing blood with your stunned enemy can provide great damage and knockback to extend combos. On top of all the different tricks Choso is able to do with his blood manipulation at range, he can also summon a small dagger formed by blood to unlock a small but deadly set of attacks one of which repeatedly stabs his opponent and the other that impales and sends the enemy flying backwards. This is starting to sound like a full-fledged review. Let me remind you that this is an early access build and it's very impressive. There are still some more moves planned for Choso, mainly revolving around super and special attacks. Props to the developers for managing to cook this well for such an early build. I'm very impressed. Before we move past Choso onto a specific someone that I'm sure about half of you guys are here waiting for me to talk about, if you want to get your hands on this build, all you have to do is somehow impress the developers with your sense of humor. Really, it's that easy. <laughs> I can't believe someone actually made this shit. Okay, now let's strap in. This is what you are waiting for, Gojo. Now, before we get into anything, there is little to no footage for a Gojo build. But, but where? Where's my Pookie? No, no, he is not ready just yet. Here, enjoy this. You can have this awesomely epic idol stance. Don't worry, that's not all there is for Gojo and for me to talk about. In fact, I had a small interview with Rose, the owner of the group and a developer on Gojo himself. Let's talk to him. I'm here with Rose, one of the developers working on Gojo. Rose, can you tell me what kind of fighter Gojo is going to work as in Hustle? Will he be a close range monster or a long range threat? Uh, I'm, we're thinking of actually of making him kind of balanced. 
because with the multiple variations of red, blue and purple uh, he can be really lethal at long range but his like uh, melee moves will also destroy in close range. Assuming the classic red, blue and hollow purple techniques will be available, how much damage would they deal and how much meter are we looking at cost wise? It depends because we're actually planning on adding maximum variations of them. Uh, like for example... Real quick before Rose says what he's about to say, um, if you have not read the manga, this is a small spoiler, so just skip to the time shown right here if you don't want to hear that spoiler. The uh, as seen in the manga, uh, the hollow purple nuke, it's gonna take around nine levels to do, and we'll do we'll deal a really high damage, I think, from what we have planned. And well, red and blue, we have like close and long range variations, so it kind of depends on what you're going for. I'm also going to assume Infinite Void will be one of the strongest abilities in the game, and since you worked on Sukuna, I also imagine that Infinite Void will cost full meter. However, do you plan to implement the point .2 domain expansion? Yeah, we do. We have found a way to make it so the game looks like in slow motion, so we will probably use that for the point .2 domain expansion, as well as the Maybe as well for the Infinite Void, uh, we need to think about that yet. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me about for Gojo and like what to look forward to? I wouldn't expect much uh, coming out like soon because we're taking our time with him. We're planning everything to perfection because honestly it's my favorite character uh, from the manga and the anime. It's one of the most loved uh, and I'm, I'm treating him like my own child <laughs> basically. And yeah, I've been trying to push everything out. I didn't have the chance yet to publish some stuff, to sneak stuff, because we're still planning the moveset and trying to find a, a good design for him. And well, yeah, pretty much that's it. And just so the viewers know, go ahead and tell us how someone can get early access to the Gojo test build once it comes out far down the line. Oh, oh it's actually quite easy because in our Discord server, uh, there's two channels which are like beg for tester and x days asking for tester and basically if you're funny enough in beg for tester we will give you we will give you access to it and if you keep asking on for tester for a long time we may eventually give you the role as well as joining our multiple frequent giveaways we do that we do those almost every week week or two depends on how we feel Sometimes they come right after big announcements or huge sneaks and well yeah, if you want to, to be a tester you can either boost during the giveaways or be funny enough I guess, <laughs> or consistent. Okay, well thank you for your time I and mean, I appreciate it. So we all look forward to Gojo coming out in the future. Yeah, thank you. Now this does cover the three main topics of this video, but before it ends let me assure you there is more. Where's Yuta? Oh he's coming. Where's Mojito? Oh he's on his way and really fast actually these guys are kind of going crazy with him right now okay well what about hakari oh, hakari's coming too what about look here just have the list okay i'm i'm not gonna do this bit when these characters release in the future i'll be sure to make a video on them for now get excited because these new characters will change the game if you liked the video make sure to subscribe and leave a like thanks for watching peace